Good morning. Hi, Phil McPhail here with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Welcome to 199 Nelson Road in the town of Oakfield. What I'm going to show you folks in this video today is one of the best off-grid homes you're going to find on the market today under $300,000. We've got a bunch of land with this property, and one of the best points of this property is about $8,000 a year in easement payments from the local wind power company. Not only offset the taxes, but they put a big dent into your monthly payment on your house. So what we're gonna see, we're gonna see this just under 700 square foot home, a, a detached garage, an off-grid power supply, woodshed, beautiful brook that runs through the property for about a thousand feet. So we got a lot to look at, let's get going, come along with me. So first we're gonna take a look at the home. This house was built in 2016. It does set on a slab with a crawl space under the majority of the house. The, the main house with the slab is about 20 and a half by 26. And we got an eight by 16 addition on the front, plus a small entryway porch un, unheated in the back. The house has got wood siding around it, it's all painted, and we have a beautiful standing seam metal roof to finish up the exterior. Good windows, thermal pane, good solid doors, easy to heat. Let's go take a look a little closer. So underneath the, the uh, rear porch right now, this is crawl space. It's about uh, probably two and a half feet of space under here. The floor is all insulated with rigid insulation. We've got a concrete slab down here and wooden walls all the way around. We're over here on the east side of the house right now and you'll see this concrete uh, um, tank here and actually what this is is the top of the septic pump station behind me if you look up this hill my pickup is up there and there's a mound you probably have a hard time seeing it trust me it's up there that's the leach field so this system does pump uphill to that field and as we come around the cabin on the northwest corner we have a drilled well and this is a true artesian well and we'll show you that here in a second. The well casing right here next to the cabin, that's right here. And as we come down the hill over towards Moose Brook, there's the overflow from that well comes down here. And uh, I think you can probably see this. There's gallons of water per minute running out of here uh, 365 days a year and it dumps right into Moose Brook. And Moose Brook does, like we said earlier, does wander through the property. We'll take a harder look at that in just a bit. All right, we're still over here on the western side of the house and we have a 500 gallon LP gas storage tank here and it is set on a nice concrete slab, nice and sturdy. And then right behind that, we've got a nine foot by nine foot woodshed. And this woodshed, uh, I think we figured it'll hold a pretty solid three quarter wood, maybe a little more depending on how high you stack it. and that should heat your camp here for, for the whole year. We're over here on the east side of the house now, and this is our power building. Uh, we've got four 235 watt photovoltaic panels here for just under a, a, a kilowatt of power. We've got a skirted with metal and wood frame building here. Inside this building, as you come in, we've got a Honda five kilowatt uh, generator that also supplies power when you've overdone it on the solar, or you got days of, of uh, rainy, cloudy weather, this will charge off our batteries. In here, we've got a MagnaSign Magnum series uh, charge controller and inverter, and eight lead acid batteries for the power supply. And we also have our, our uh, pump station for our septic pump warning lights and everything are in here for that. So this is a complete power building and it's also on a concrete slab. Right here next to the power supply building, we also have another storage box and you could put a second generator in here if you wanted to. And there's a, a way to get your, your power lines into the, um, into the power building. So now we're gonna take a walk up here and look at the garage. This is a 20 by 26 garage, really high overhead doors, metal clad building, same metal roof as the house. It also has a nice metal bestest chimney for a wood stove hook up in here. Uh, I think the ceilings here are pretty close to 10 feet. I think the top of the door is probably pushing eight. Yeah, I'd say that's about an eight foot rise overhead. 
This building's all finished in here, insulated. If you want a nice workshop, bring your snowmobiles, your ATV, your vehicle in here, have the wood stove going a little while to, to take all the snow off it in the wintertime, be great. Good storage for all your tools. And you probably noticed this box outside the garage door here. And this is uh, fuel storage for, uh, you know, if you're gonna own a property like this, you're gonna own a tractor, or at least you ought to. Uh, good place to keep the diesel tanks in here for, for filling up your tractor when need be. And we're gonna walk around the back of the garage now. And over here, we've got a five-star resort if you are a chicken. Heavy duty, cage, keep out most any critter that's gonna run around the state of Maine. Uh, and here come the girls now. They're out here getting a little sunshine. We do have an electric fence around this as well. And as you look up the hill, we do have a couple of raised beds here behind the, um, the chicken coop. Great place to grow your garden vegetables. And then we got the field going up the, uh, towards the east side of the property. Folks, if you're interested in buying this property when you get up here, um, this may be able to be purchased along with this property. It obviously would be a separate buy, but we have a Mahindra 1635 HST four wheel drive tractor with a snowblower attachment, a box blade on the back. And up back, we also have the bucket for it. So this is a 35 horse tractor, fully enclosed, heated cab, nice, nice unit. And if you're gonna live here year round, this is something you probably need to have if you don't already own one. Hey, before we get on the land and start taking a hard look at where this house, what it's setting on, let's talk about the location here. If you're not familiar with Oakfield, Maine, we're in Southern Aroostook County. Town of Oakfield has about a 661 population according to the 2020 census. We're out here in the woods on this property in an off-grid situation, but it's only 4.2 miles to the grocery store in downtown Oakfield. So it's, you're out here, you don't hear any traffic, but you're, you're close to everything you need. The uh, town of Holton, which is the southern uh, seat, uh, the county seat of Aroostook County, is 22 miles east of us here. The city of Presque Isle, which would be the closest city, 61 miles north of us. And Presque Isle has a commercial airport, if you want to go to Bangor, it's about 108 miles. It's an hour and 46 minutes to Bangor. It's about an hour and 15 minutes to Presque Isle. Boston is about a five hour and 20 minute drive from this location. Folks, I'm not sure you can hear it, but this is Moose Brook and we had uh, single digits the last couple of nights. So Moose Brook still running underneath the ice, but she's pretty well frozen over. This runs through the property. It actually starts here on the side of the mountain that this uh, property sits on runs out of Boiling Springs out of the side of the hill, meanders through this property for about a thousand feet, and eventually goes off the property and runs down the hill until it hits the west branch of the Mattawamkeag River. So this is one of the many spring-fed tributaries of the Mattawamkeag. There are a lot of brook trout in this little stream. The sellers see a lot of them in here. They're pretty small. This is a rearing creek for uh, young brook trout. Mattawamkeag River has got some beauties in there, so you can go fish that. We'll talk about what's around the area a little bit later, but right now we're gonna jump on this 46 acres of land. We got about four acres here of cleared area around the house, and the rest of it is wooded, and it's up on this beautiful side hill. Let's go take a look at that now. We're right here behind the cabin, and as you can see, Moose Brook is running right around the cabin. It's such a cool area. You've got the sound of this creek. You can hear at night and all day long for that matter, and it's within 60 feet, 75 feet of the cabin. We're gonna cross it on this little wooden bridge. They have an ATV trail up here onto their land so they can bring their, their buggy up this hill. Uh, this, this property has elevations here that are pretty impressive. They run anywhere from 810 to 1,250 feet above sea level. So and as you can tell, we're, we're starting up a pretty good hill immediately after we cross the brook. What we're gonna see here is a, a mixed growth forest of hardwoods and softwoods. Their forester told them there's a fair amount of commercial timber here, uh, you know, that could be harvested. They've chosen not to, but it's really a, a pretty lot. Right now, of course, it's snow covered, so it's kind of hard to see through the trees. But we're gonna take a walk up this hill and we'll stop and show you a few spots along the way. 
Hey, we're gonna take a little break on our hike up this hill. Let's talk about what else is around this area here in Oakfield. You know, you, you can come out here and, and forget about the rest of the world while you're here, but if you wanna go do uh, other things other than uh, stare at the mountain views, you could, uh, you could be at the Mattawamkeag River. It's 2.3 miles from here to the west branch of Mattawamkeag in Oakfield. That's a great river for paddling, for fishing, beautiful spot. Then uh, both Pleasant Lake and Mattawamkeag Lakes are just 11 miles to each one of their boat landings on those two lakes. So Pleasant Lake and Mattawamkeag both have landlocked salmon and uh, pretty nice sized smallmouth bass for fishing there. And they're both great boating lakes as well, as well as swimming. If you like playing golf, Vajawa 18 hole golf course is just 10 miles from this location. Right here, we've got some snowshoe hare tracks and that brings me to one of the things my clients love the best about this property is the wildlife that's out here. We've got moose, white-tailed deer, you know, rabbits. Here's some partridge tracks right here that we're crossing now. So they got, we call them partridge, rough grouse for those who aren't, that don't live in Maine. Uh, we got a pretty good population of black bear in this part of the world, woodcock, and of course, you know, down the river and the lakes, we've got a lot of geese and ducks. This is a beautiful area for wildlife. Very low population of people, so we probably have more animals up here than we do people, for sure. And as you can see, what we're looking at here, we've got a lot of balsam fir on this lot. Uh, some of it's mature now. We got some spruce. And then there's some mixed in here with some maples. But it's a pretty, pretty lot, pretty dense forest. You know, you might want to make some more trails through it to open it up a little more. A pretty place to go for a little walk in the woods. We're walking through the forest here. We're halfway up the hill and we came across this apple tree just growing out here in the middle of the woods. And you're probably thinking, why is there an apple tree in the middle of the forest? Well, a little history on this town. <clears throat> The town of Oakfield originally was, the village was up here in the hills. Um, back before there were roads and rails, uh, the town was scattered all through the hills up here in Oakfield, where all the wind turbines are now. Then uh, the railroad came in in the late 1800s and everything moved down to the valley, down by the river. The railroad brought a lot of uh, new development to the area. A little bit of a history lesson on Oakfield. I'm sure there's people out there that know a lot more about Oakfield than I ever will. And if you do, and you're watching this video, share your knowledge down in the comments for us. But this is a kind of a cool thing. You'll see it a lot up here in Oakfield is you just walk through the woods and all of a sudden you see remnants of old farms and, and uh, human, past human endeavors. Well, folks, we've Showing you quite a bit of land. Look at that view out through there. I don't know if the sun's gonna blast that out, but what a beautiful shot. Ice hanging on the trees and that big mountain top coming up over the top. Just gorgeous. Uh, and let's, let's talk about what I mentioned early on in the video was the easements that are on this land. And there's a sound easement and a kind of a proxi proximity easement for the wind turbines that are on the, the hills here in Oakfield. So folks, if you hate windmills and they just make you, you know, not want to be around, then this isn't your property. But those of us who don't mind them, appreciate what they're here for, you can, you can get rewarded in the town of Oakfield. Every resident in this town gets approximately $2,100 a year off their annual taxes. Taxes on this property were uh, under 500 bucks last year. That is with the homestead tax exemption. So, you know, you're gonna have to take that into consideration. You're gonna live here before you can get that. And that's a $20,000 off your assessed value. Uh, the, the other easement, uh, there's two payments here beyond the tax reduction, and that's two $3,000 payments annually to the property owner here on, as a resident for the sound and the proximity of the wind turbines. And I believe those are good for the, the remainder life of the project. If you need more information, you're seriously interested in this property, give me a call. We'll send you all the documents that, are, that relate to that so you can review those before you make your trip here to see this property. Other points of interest in this area isn't just the lakes and the rivers, but if you like to ride, 
ATVs <clears throat> right from this property. You can drive out on Nelson Road, head down the road and jump right on the ATV trails. And pretty much you can do the same thing with a snowmobile and get out to the ITS trails. That's the uh, interstate trail system that runs through Maine. That's reachable from this property. So for those of you who like to ride, what a great location it is for that. As we enter the cabin, we come in to this hallway, place for your boots and hang your coats. Off to my left, you're gonna see a bathroom with a flush and a sink, and it does have its own door, so you got some privacy in here for this bath. As we move down the hallway, here we have a shower stall, and it is in between the bathroom and the bedroom. So it's a little privacy here. I mean, this is a one bedroom home. Then off to my right, we've got the bedroom here, the one and only bedroom. As we leave the bedroom, we come back into the short hallway and we enter the big open living space. And here we've got the kitchen and the living area. The floors in this entire cabin are an industrial strength uh, floor tile. I don't think you can wear these out. So they're usually used in uh, commercial applications. This beautiful butternut live edge bar here is absolutely gorgeous. It does set on a cabinet. The cabinet is movable. So if you wanted to relocate it, you could. Over in this corner, we have a direct vent uh, LP gas heater, which is kind of a backup supply. Primarily this home is now heated with wood. And in the kitchen space, we have uh, a gas LP gas refrigerator. And those of you who aren't familiar with them, yeah, you can chill your food with LP gas. We've got a gas range here for burners and we have a granite countertop and, the, and a big stainless steel sink, plus all these cabinets here. And back over here, um, in this closet right here, we have a on-demand water heater, and this is also where the well water comes into the cabin. The pressure tank's in here as well. As we leave the kitchen, come in through the living room, we come out onto this beautiful porch area, and out here we do have this Vermont Castings wood stove. Does a great job of heating this space, the whole the whole place actually. You can drive you out of here if you wanted to. And then on the other side, we have cabinets and storage. If you wanted to, you could probably put a bunk bed out here if you wanted more company. Maybe a pull-out futon or something along those lines. Thanks for taking this tour with us today of 199 Nelson Road in this beautiful town of Oakfield. Before we wrap up the video with all the terms, don't forget, like and share the video with your friends. And please subscribe to our channel by hitting that notification bell down below. The price on this property is coming to market at $275,000. The taxes for 2023 were $415, and that is with a homestead tax exemption. We're sitting on 46 acres, mostly wooded property with great elevations ranging from you know, 890 to over 1,000 feet. Beautiful views in all directions. We've got the 670, 661 square foot home, one bedroom, one bath. We got drilled well, full septic, 20 by 26 garage. We got the chicken coop, we got the off-grid power supply. I mean, we got game everywhere on this property. If you need more information, give me a call at 800-286-6164. Be happy to email you a property information package on this property. And if you wanna check out the interior uh, layout of the cabin a little more closely, check out the Matterport virtual tour down in the description below. Looking forward to your call.